As our life requires more and more raw materials, we have to search for new ways to find them. One of the options is to reassess old mines, and as most of them are flooded, to carry out safe and cost-effective surveys, serious technological innovations are needed. The Unexmin team has been set up to develop an autonomous robot solution capable of operating without remote control, as deep as 500 meters underwater. This is the UX-1, which will autonomously map the abandoned, flooded mines and gather valuable geological and mineralogical information. The scientific instrumentation is developed at the University of Mishkots. The robot should be able to identify all the potentially interesting minerals under the harshest conditions. If engineers could manage to deliver all these devices to the right spots of the flooded mines, geologists could decide if it is worthwhile restarting a more detailed exploration. Researchers at the Inesctec Laboratory of Robotics and Autonomous Systems in Porto design and manufacture robots capable of self-orientation and autonomous decision-making. The UX-1 builds up a real-time 3D model of its environment by analyzing and combining flow meter, sonar, laser beam, and accelerometer information. No wonder, it looks like a spaceship from a science fiction movie. Eight propellers are mounted on the robot for propulsion. Each can work independently and in both directions. The University of Tampere is designing the mechanics. Scientists choose an abandoned quarry as a testing location. Finland is a perfect place for such a test. This time of year, the sun never goes down. The UX-1 has to prove itself in challenging sites, like Ujarisa in Portugal, the Idria mercury mine in Slovenia, and Ecton mine in the United Kingdom. The deep shafts and the historical mystery make Ecton a perfect test site for the Unexmin project. The surface team in the control room is eagerly watching the transferred data of all types. Artificial tunnels are planned and built in an orderly fashion, but in a cave, UX-1 has to face a more irregular terrain. The Molnar Janos cave, the largest underwater hydrothermal cave in Europe, lies under Budapest, the capital of Hungary. The aim of the UNEXMIN team during the test dives in Budapest is to fine-tune the navigational skills of the UX-1 in the challenging, complex environment. As the first dives of the UX-1 went fine, now is the time to shed light on murky mines.